YouTube, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the MSI Motar Arctic H270M motherboard. Now obviously this motherboard is a micro ATX motherboard and if you're looking for a motherboard that supports the latest CPU generation, the 7th and also the 6th, not planning to overclock your CPU and a white motherboard, this could be an interesting option for you. Now today I'm going to talk about the features and specifications as well and also do a quick unboxing and installation onto my new PC case which is the Cooler Master Master Case Pro 3. If you're interested in that case I'll put the link in the description below. I'll be doing a quick review on that as well. So let's get started. So the box itself, uh, it's not much going on here but like um, yeah, over here it says uh, it supports the latest 7th uh, uh, CPU generation and good to know that we can put in GTX 10 series graphics cards. Over here is just uh, some brief uh, specifications of uh, many different languages. And at the bottom of the box itself we have the actual uh, features, more of a, in a marketing good looking style. So. Uh, we'll quickly go through all this. So obviously this is the chipset H, I mean H270. And we have some gaming LAN, USB Type-C, some really sturdy uh, PCI Express 16 slots, some decent audio boost with some cool looking white LEDs. I'll show you that in a minute. Some uh, white backlit LED behind the motherboard itself as well. We also got some uh, M.2 slots, so if you're looking for uh, some speedy SSDs, uh, you're welcome to put that in. And uh, some very useful feature, for example, the easy debug. So like um, if you uh, have having some problems building the motherboard itself, it will just like light up and then we'll know what is the problem. And uh, I guess uh, this this motherboard is the military class five, which is uh, very sturdy and has uh, very quality components. And at the bottom here is the specifications, where we can see uh, what it has and things like that. So feel free to pause whenever you want. And last but not least, we got this uh, I/O I/O ports, which I'll show show you you know the real thing in a minute. Okay, so yeah, that's about it just for the box. So let's uh, open this guy up. Okay, so once we open the box, we have the very useful manual, which I'll definitely use in my build. Okay, we have the motherboard itself. I'll uh, set that aside first and let's see what's underneath the, the foam. Here we have a uh, driver CD, but I guess uh, if you want the drivers, it's better to get online. Some thank you cards. So thank you for choosing uh, the MSI product. Thank you, MSI. We also got some SATA cables. One of them is uh, right angle and the other is just like a straight one. That's pretty good. IO shield, I'll open that in a minute once we do uh, a quick build on this this motherboard it's kind of neat it's the uh, black and red and last but not least we got the quick installation guide so i guess i'll quickly go through this since it's the quick installation guide all right okay so let's check out the the motherboard itself okay so let's get this guy out from the plastic bag and uh, we'll start off with the IO ports first here we have the uh, PS2 port which is for the traditional mouse and keyboard USB 2.0 port uh, DVI-D port display port HDMI port LAN and three USB 3.0 ports USB type C, it's very good. And also we have the six audio jacks. Unfortunately, they're not colored, but the red one is the, the one that we put into, you know, for our headphones or like, or speakers. So on the flip side of the motherboard itself, 
we have six SATA cables, no, not cables, sorry, six SATA ports. Okay, so this is for our hard disk and SSDs as well. So I'll quickly do an overview of the motherboard and uh, mention like the important things. So we have this really nice uh, looking cover for the IO ports. Uh, fortunately, we don't have to see these uh, square blocks if you have like a, an open case. Uh, two nice looking heat sinks, which is, uh, uh, yeah, the whitish or silverish with a blue accent, a very light blue accent. And over here is the chipset, nice looking chipsets. And um, we got four RAM slots, which supports up to 64 gigabytes and uh, as you can see here uh, they have this chromium uh, cover on it so it looks nice and shiny if you have like led lights in the in the computer build over here is obviously the lga 1151 socket for uh, kb lake or sky lake uh, cpus we have this nice looking uh, PCIe Express 16 slot for your graphics card and uh, they say that this guy is very durable because we got some uh, metal covering all this uh, yeah we have uh, the usual yeah 24 pin power connector the CPU power 6 pin connector and uh, we got quite a lot of uh, system fan actually if you guys are planning to cool your PC. So there's a system fan here, SysFan 3, and there's a SysFan 2 here. And if I remember correctly, oh uh, yeah, there's a SysFan 1 here as well. So plenty of system fans to do. So no need to split your fans up. We got, uh, yeah, PCI Express slots here, maybe for your network card. And uh, yeah, the usual audios and um, USB 3.0 for your for your PC case and what else is important ah yes uh, nearly forgot we also have the option to put in an M.2 SSD in here as well so that's quite useful but I guess in my build I don't have an M.2 yet so I'll probably do that in the future okay so I'll just like uh, do like a very close up shot. So maybe it's, uh, it's good and informative to check out. Oh guys, and I nearly forgot to mention that we have the easy LED debug. So I guess if you're first time like builders, this will be really useful because if there's a problem with uh, with assembling this motherboard with other components, we can see that what is the problem. It's either the boot, the VGA card, the RAM, or the CPU. So either these LEDs will light up and uh, we'll definitely know what is the problem. So very quick and easy to set up this guy up. Last but not least, I wanna show you the back of the motherboard itself. Uh, as we can see here, there's not much going on overall, but I want to show you that there are a few LED lights, as I mentioned earlier when we saw the box, that yeah, we got some LED lights at the back of the motherboard itself. So when we build it, it'll probably look good because we have some lights like coming out from the motherboard at the back itself. So it should be very interesting once we finish this build. Okay, I think these are more LED lights as well, here and here and here. And two more over here. Okay, so let's get started and um, see how it goes.
So all in all, I really enjoy building on this micro ATX motherboard. As you can see that the, the theme of the board is not totally white, it has some grey accents which is uh, what I'm really looking for. The LEDs are not that bright unfortunately, but maybe it's because uh, my case is probably black, so black absorbs white, right? And uh, if you notice that the wireless card is like really close to the GPU because, uh, you know, well I guess this is a micro ATX so there's not that much options that we have. But overall, it's a, it's a really fun build and um, if you really enjoyed this video, please press the like button and subscribe. If you don't, uh, you, know what to, you know what to do. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my other videos. See you later guys, bye!